Hello, my name is Jane and welcome to Pilates. I'm here today with George and we are going to show you some exercises that you can do at home. As carers ourselves, we both know how important it is to keep active. It's good mentally and physically. We're going to do some basic exercises today, which I hope you will find useful. But please listen to your body, see how you feel today and work to your own ability. So we're going to start off by warming up. I'd like you to stand. Feet together, then heels apart and toes. And as you can see, I'm working in socks. George is working in bare feet. Whatever you feel you wish to work in. If you don't have a mat, you can pop a towel, put a blanket on the floor and a towel on the top. It's absolutely fine. You may wish to work with either a little block or a little towel just for your head when we do some mat work on the floor. So we're going to start off just by rocking very gently forward and back just to find a centre spot. And then when you feel you're just in the centre, just ground yourself down. Think about your spine lengthening. Think about tucking your tailbone under and gently roll the shoulders back. We're going to have a little bit of fun and enjoy the class today. We're going to take our arms up in front of our body. Just take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just think about opening the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Squeeze your thighs as well. And breathe back and down. Let's do that one more time, please. Up and take a breath and enjoy. Now just with the hands very gently, in line with the hips behind. You can open the fingers if you'd like an extra stretch, keeping the knees soft. We're just gonna turn our head to one side. And then very slowly come back to the other side. If you do feel a little bit dizzy, please stop. We're gonna do that one more time each side and have a think about if one side feels a little bit more tighter than the other. If you find one is, there is absolutely no harm in doing a couple more that side just to release. And back to the front. Taking the arms and shoulder blades back a little bit, keeping the spine long, just pop your chin down to the chest and look to the ground. Keeping that neck lengthened, spine lengthened, Tummy in tight, navel to spine. And just breathe and relax the arms back. Shake your legs. And we're just going to float the arms down and bring them up in line with your shoulders. And two more times, please. And then on the last one, we're going to rise onto our toes. Squeeze your knees, your thighs, your buttocks, your tummy. And back and rest. You okay there, George? Fine, thank you. Good. And one more time. One. Do it three times. Two. Here we go. Up, squeeze. Roll in the wrists as well. Two for the price of one. Way and come down. Whoa, a bit wobbly there. And that's absolutely fine. Challenge yourself. Okay. We're going to take one arm round to the side and back. Just like you're opening and closing the curtains. And then this time, take the hand and place it on your elbow. Just bend the knee slightly, have a look to the floor. Just so we get a little rotation in there. Now take a breath in to come back up. Stand tall and proud and bring the arm down to the side. Repeat the other side, coming up. Slight bend of the knees, come over. And again, this time touching the elbow. Down and have a little look. Squeeze to come up, breathe in, lovely. So shoulder rolls back, let's get that extension going rather than we spend a lot of time in a forward position. So let's open the chest, roll the shoulders, a couple of times more will be lovely. And last one, and rest, good. We're now going to come onto the mat, but we're gonna do a roll down first of all. So please come to the ends of your mats, or your towels, whatever you're using today. And again, like George, feet together, heels and toes. Tuck in that tailbow, watch what happens. Engage and lift. 
Yes, good. Our hands are gently by our sides, keeping the spine long. You can watch me first if you wish. I'm going to talk it. I'm going to take a breath in. I'm going to drop my chin, keeping that spine long. Shoulders back. Soft knees. And we're going to start to roll down. Now think of a C-shaped spine. Let your hands dangle in the front. And think about a wheel coming down the hill, vertebrae by vertebrae. Now go to wherever's comfortable. Have a little dangle and just see how you feel. Now your body weight, your arms are acting like weights. It's a lovely stretch. Okay, and now we're gonna send the abdominals to the back of the spine. So basically just take a nice big breath in. Keep the chin down and start to stack up. So that wheel is coming up the hill. Also think about a sunflower. The head of the sunflower comes up last. Roll the shoulders back and be proud. Stand tall. We're going to do that one more time. And we come down, chin, C-shaped spine, soft knees. Have a little dangle. You might find this time a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to come down. If you can touch with your fingers or you can bend your knees and just come onto the mat. <laughs> and we're gonna come into a seated position. Take your time. Are you okay, George? I'm fine, thank Love you. Lovely, okay. So we're gonna sit nice and tall. Sometimes it helps to sit against the wall so you get that nice feeling of straightness. And we're just gonna take our legs a little bit wider than your hips. You might find you want to sit on a block or a towel for a little bit of support, but really important, keep your sit bones, your buttocks, firmly on the mat or on the floor. Zip up that corset. Good. Feet can be flexed, so you can bring them up so you can feel that stretch. However, if you wish to have your feet nice and loose, you can. You can even have bended knees, if you wish. Flat feet, it's quite nice to have a plantar flexion, we call it, going on, so a nice point so you can develop your arch. But if you find you get a little bit of cramp, just give your toes a wiggle. We're going to start with a relaxed position. So sit tall. We're going to cross our arms, cross our chest, and relax. I invite you to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you just to turn to one leg. Okay? And then as you breathe out, have a look at your knee and see how it is. Now important, don't lift. You want to plant it on the floor. If you lift, technique's more important than the, the amount of time you come down. So just a couple of inches is fine. Now take a big breath in, squeeze the abdominals, navel to spine to start to come up in that rotation position. And then breathe out to come back to the front. Excellent, let's do the other side. Breathe in, exhale, turn. Have a look at your knee, see how lovely it is. <laughs> Remember, keep your buttocks planted on the floor. Send your abdominals to the back, squeeze, come up and rotate round. Good. We're gonna try it this time with flexed feet. See if you can see the difference. This time, pop your shoulder, fingertips on your shoulder blades. Lift up, take a breath in, and rotate. Have a look down. Inhale to come up, and rotate back. We're gonna do the other side. Remember, think about a 50 pound note under each of your buttocks, and we don't want to steal them. So you want them firmly planted, and we come up, and we come back nice and proud, and we release down. Put your legs together and give them a shake. You can repeat that four times each side if you like. And have a play with the feet and see how you feel. Okay, George? Yes, that's great. Good. So this time we're going to come down for another exercise called the 100s. It was Joseph Pilate's main exercise. It was his number one warm-up exercise. Lots of fun. So we're going to come down onto our backs. Now, George is going to use a towel 
as his little support today, and I'm going to use a little block. So we're going to lay down. We're going to bring our knees up, feet flat on the floor, and have a little gap between your legs. What you want to think about is squeezing those thighs together and engaging, we call them, engaging the muscles. Sometimes you can put a towel between your legs here or a cushion and it just focuses you on engaging. We're going to tuck our tailbone under and just feel like you're getting a very gentle spine imprint on your mat. Give your toes a wiggle, release. And now take the feet into a folded position. Okay, so you've got a little fold here, knees and hips. Now look at my back. If I've got an arch back, I get that. If I do a little imprint, I get a nice connection. If that is too much, keep the feet on the floor. We're going to take our arms nice and straight, open the fingers, about a foot off the floor, your hands, George. Okay? And we're going to take a breath for five. We're going to do four sets of five which makes 20. Here we go. And Lovely, that's 20. Rest your feet down, rest your arms. We're gonna go up again and do another 20, and that will make 40. Lift your legs. Straighten your arms, open the fingers, and... <laughs> Lovely, and rest, good. So that's 40. So you can do five sets of 20 to get to 100. So you can challenge yourself and increase each time you do this movement up to 20, up to 100 in increments of 20. So have a little bit of fun with it and see how you get on. You have another advanced thing which George and I will just show you, still in tabletops, so bring your legs up into a knee fold, arms again, George take a breath in, as you breathe out I want you to do a little chin nod and look down your legs, we're going to do 20. <sighs> Keeping the shoulders nicely back, Legs connected, toes pointed or flexed. And last one. Well done, George. And put the legs down. Excellent. And rest. That's the next level up. Start with your head down and see how you feel. Arms must be nice and straight. No floppy arms, otherwise it moves the whole body. The connection is down here in the corset muscle, zipping it up. Imagine you've got a nice scarf around your waist, a little tightening band, and you will be absolutely fine. From here, we're just going to do a little bit of relaxation now. So please take your legs down, or if it is, if you do need to have your knees bent, you can, and your arms by your sides, and just rest. George is going to stay where he is, and I'm just going to sit up to talk to you. So I want you to imagine you're laying on your beach mat, and it's a lovely warm day. And the sun is warm. You're in the shade. The sun is warm in your head all the way down the body to the ends of the toes. Just take a little breath in for three. Hold it for four. And then when you're ready, exhale for five. And just feel that breath going all the way out through your toes. And just try that again. It's a three, four, five breath pattern. Everybody's breath is different. The idea is the longer the out breath, the more it induces relaxation. Do that one more time for me. Lovely, and then just breathe normally. And in your next breath, while you're laying down, take a breath in and squeeze your toes like you're picking sand up, squeeze your knees, squeeze your buttocks, your tummy, make fists with your hands, shoulders to your ears, wrinkle your face, squeeze your nose, 
And then as you breathe out, relax all your muscles. And try that one more time. So take a breath in and squeeze your toes, knees, shoulders to the ears, wrinkle your face, make fists. And then release. Feel all that tension releasing from your body. Just bring both knees into the chest if it's comfortable to do so and just give yourself a hug. You might find you want to hug under your legs or on top, whatever's comfortable for you. Relax the shoulders, so just gently hug your knees or you can have your hands underneath, it's more comfortable. Imagine you've got pencils on your knees and you're going to draw big circles, nice and slowly and controlled. A couple of times one way and then go the other way. Just feel that lovely release, keeping the shoulders soft. And then when you've done a couple, pop your legs down on the floor. And we're gonna to roll to the side like a sleeping position. Just very gently, take your time. And then when you're ready, gently come up. Centre yourself. And see how you feel. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us both today. Don't forget, you can look on the Carers Active Hub for more information, tips and videos to help you stay active. And we'll see you again very soon.